Hello! At it again, at it again, at it again. Yeah, boy. Anyway. I'm, I just left the center, the rehabilitation center. Today is Wednesday. I believe it's the 25th. Not 100% certain about that date. Current temperature right now is at or about 80 degrees. Clear sky. Zero wind. Zero probability of rain. Now, I'm going to tell you, I've been here more than six weeks now. And they haven't had any rain in in the last month, in the last 30 days, I will, I will wage to say it. Woo! Getting a little bit dry around here in the Carolinas. I think we had a little bit of rain when uh, that uh, hurricane came through. I can't, what's the name? It wasn't Milton, it was the one before Milton. I think it was Helena. Hurricane Helena! They got a little bit of rain then. They haven't had any since. Yeah, boy. Like I said, I just left the center. Now, I'm not going to Manana to Mars. It's our UPA treatment day. So, I won't be going to Manana. Oh. I went there Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today. Day. And I wouldn't have went yesterday, but I was chasing down this lady. I went there Monday to try to locate, find her, and she was gone. I went again yesterday. I had I had to get her to sign up some papers associated with our father's living condition. I went back yesterday. She wasn't there, so I had to go back again today. So I find her. And so. That situation is uh, squared away. No, no. Oh. Anyway, so I'm going back to the house and find me some dinner. Now today, check this out. Today I ate me some Mexicana menudos. I know how to cook that menudos. You know that Mexicana menudo. That we that I eat every Sunday in Mexico. I know how to cook it, so I cooked me some. I cooked it about two weeks ago. I had it in the freezer. Ooh, at some this morning, it was good, good for the wood, but it ran my blood pressure up. So I know theoretical. I'm going to have to remove, remove my noodle from my diet. So I don't think I'm going to be eating anymore. Maybe a couple of times a year. Under the right conditions. You know, a certainly smaller portion than what I had today. Ah, I thought I was doing pretty good until the old girl came in there and I said, uh, can you check my blood pressure while you're at it? <laughs> she said, "Oh, sure." Anyway, I, I don't know. I, I I know it was up, man. I know that that thing going go to do to my blood pressure. Essentially, will have elevated, and it did. Now I ain't gonna tell you what it is. I figure I'd be better served. If I, and I did, if I did, and I did, I went on Amazon and ordered me a blood pressure monitor device. So I ordered me a blood pressure monitor device, which is due to come in Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> So I'll be able to keep on top of that stuff. I think in my situation, I, I need to check my blood pressure at least three times a day. First, first thing when you get up, at, or about midday, from midday to about 3 p.m., I imagine, somewhere in that 
time frame and when I get ready to go to bed. I think that'll be ideally. I should start seeing some better blood pressure since. Only thing I drink right now is water. Only thing I drink now is W-A-T-E-R. And it's been that way for, this is day nine of me just drinking W-A-T-A-R. No B-E-E-R and no whiskey of any sort. Oh, I do drink coffee. I'm going to have to monitor that coffee also. I may have to remove that coffee from my system. I think coffee might play a role in elevated blood pressure. I'm not sure, but I will find out. Yeah, boy. Oh, let me shout out to them. I want to say my New York Yankees, but they're not my New York Yankees. They, they are just the New York Yankees. They ain't my New York Yankees. But the New York Yankee has returned to the World Series. In which they would battle for the World Series Championship with the Los Angeles Dodgers. So the New York Yankees and the LA Dodgers would meet in the World Series. I don't know whether they ever met before or not. I can't I can't recall they ever playing each other in the World Series. In my 65 years on this planet. Now, they may have, but I just can't recall. I guess that's something I'm going to have to look up. Did the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Dodgers ever met in the World Series? Now, now before I was born in 19, you know, whenever I was born, right? Both those cities, both of those teams reside in the same city. In other words, the Los Angeles Dodgers used to be the Brooklyn Dodgers. Of course, I, I ain't telling anybody nothing they don't already know. I think it was in 1959 they moved out to Los Angeles. Yep. Now, it's possible these teams two teams could have met in the World Series before. Because prior to 1960s, prior to 1960, there's about 35% less teams in National, uh, Major League Baseball than there is currently. So it's possible. A lot of these teams came, up, came on board after the 1960s. Because at one point in time, New York had three, New York had four Major League Baseball teams. Now the New York Mets came about. Let me see, it was in 1964. So they only had, at one time they had four Major League Baseball teams. The Mets came about like in 1964. They had the Giants, the Yankees, and the uh, New York Giants, the Yankees, and uh, the Dodgers. Of course, the Yankees moved out to San Francisco. Oh, I think Willie Mays just played the, the Dodgers. No, Willie, Willie Mays. Willie Mays died earlier this year. He used to play with the... He, I think he ended his career with the Giants, but I, he also played with the Mets, New York Mets. Now, Willie May was the most phenomenal baseball player in baseball history. If you lined up, if you lined up 10 baseball aficionados, people who actually has followed the game for the last 40, 50 years, 50, well, even more than that, It'd be hard to find too many people follow the game more than 
60 years, but you can still find those people. Line up 10. Ask them who's the name the best baseball player in the history of the game of baseball. Four of those 10 people is going to say Willie Mays. No doubt about it. So 40% of baseball aficionados who, is the, who has been associated with the game more than 60 years is going to tell you Willie Mays was the best baseball player to ever play Major League Baseball. Now the guy was phenomenal. Willie May as a baseball player was phenomenal. And if you ask me, I probably would say he's the second or third best baseball player to ever play the game. There's a couple of players I brought put in front of him. One of them is Barry Bonds, the other one is Kirby Puckett. Kirby Puckett, Minnesota Twins. That guy was absolutely phenomenal. Maybe Ken Griffin Jr. is another one. Ken Griffin Jr. So you got to... Okay, let's listen. Would I put Kirby Puckett in front of Ken Griffin Jr.? Probably not. So let, um, if you ask me, I'm saying... Two players I would probably put in. Now, nah, I don't think I can put Ken Griffin Jr. in front of Willie Mays, but I can certainly. I might be inclined to put Kirby Puckett in front of Willie Mays. Five foot, eight and a half inches tall, 215 pounds, could drive that goddamn baseball out of the park. Yeah, boy. Let me let y'all see what I'm dealing with here. As y'all, as y'all know, the sun reflection on my face is kind of like a lot of shadows and shit. And a lot of hot spots and all that good stuff. You know, I, I, when I dropped our father off the other day, that was Monday. Now, I didn't drop him off. The medical transporter came and picked him up and took him back to the center. So I went to the center because, like I said, I had to get that paper signed and shit, right? So I left, went to Walmart, got what I need. And when I left, I went to Sam's and got some petrol. When I left Sam, I got in the car and started driving right now. I said, damn. This car is not shifting in the high gear. And it wasn't shifting in the high gear. So I'm driving the car like, we're only talking like eight miles. So I'm driving in third gear, which the car's got, this is an automatic transmission with four forward gears, first, second, third, and fourth. So I'm driving the car and I'm only getting like third gear, it's not getting into the fourth gear and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? Damn, what's the problem? What's the problem? And I'm trying to get, I'm doing everything I can I even stop and disconnect the battery, right? Try to, you know, maybe I can get the, that's a, that's what's called transmission module. Uh, which is the brain for the transmission. Sometimes you can reset it and it'll, it'll, if you like disconnect the battery for like 10 minutes, it might reset, but didn't happen. I'm saying, God damn, this dang on thing messing up. So I drove home. I drove back to the center yesterday. <laughs> Cause when I was driving home, I got the I got the uh, speed up to like 60 miles an hour. But the problem is, like, if uh, if it ain't shifting out in the high gear, you got enormously high RPMs, right? Like RPMs above 3,000. And then 
you're using man was that being the case you're using a lot more petrol you're using a lot more gas and shit right okay, so i drove i drove it yesterday i figured out going to the center most of them get up to 45 mile an hour right even at 45 mile an hour you got high enormously high uh rpms so I went back home, everything good to go, right? Shit, man. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm, I'm doing my Google work, you know what I'm saying? So I said, well, probably. Most likely it need a sensor. Speed sensor. The speed, the, the speed is gonna register the, uh, how fast you're going, it's gonna send that information to the transmission control unit. And it's gonna allow the car, it's gonna tell the transmission to go ahead and move up to the next gear and shit, right? Well, I figure that's what I need and shit, bro. You can find them on, you can find them like on some of these websites and shit, like eBay and all that kind of shit, for about $30. So just as I, I'm driving, so I'm driving back to the center this morning. And just for, and I got my phone, I'm at stoplight and shit, right? <laughs> let me see, get out by, let me get an idea how much, who got this part and how much it costs. So I did the Google search. It came up, $29.95. A couple of sellers, right? I said, okay, let me, let me screenshot this. Just as I pull off from the stoplight, the shit started back working. <laughs> I said, wait a minute, the shit working now. I'm saying it's working now. Jesus Christ. What's that all about? I guess it was karma, right? Karma. Good karma. I don't know. Anyway, I don't. I'm not gonna buy that part now. Shit, man, it's working. If not, it could go bad again. But hey, <laughs> we're in the <body. laughs> As long as I can make these next two weeks, I'll be good to go. Now, um, but you know, I tell you one thing. Our Upar is gearing up to come home for the first time. At least since I've been here, he actually he actually think he's gonna make it. He actually think when his release date come, he'd be ready to go. Uh, that's possible. I think it's very very possible. If he put forth the effort, yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure. Our father's giving it his all. I'm not sure our father's giving it his all, so that might be an issue. Now, I understand he might be giving his best as he can, but I don't know. Sometimes those therapies come in there and they have to, like, beg him to get out of bed and shit. Hey, come on, come on, let's go to therapy. Come on, come on. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, I'm not getting out of this bed. <laughs> I said, come on, Bob, get, come on, get your therapy. You can't go home if you don't get this therapy. Let's go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. And then he'll look at me and say, hell, it ain't you who got to get out, who's got to do that therapy. <laughs> and then I look at him, I say, well, hey, it is what it is, they going. We ain't talking about me, we talking about you. We need to get you. We need to get you to get this therapy him, and then he'll finally get out of bed and shit. But after he don't, you know, throw salt in my face and shit. I don't know. Our father's one of those disgruntled, disgruntled patient. I don't know what to say. Ain't shit I can do about it. Really, be honest with you. I understand we all have our situations, but hey. Your situation ain't necessarily my situation. <laughs> I can't sacrifice whatever I'm doing just because you're in a relatively 
unfavorable situation. It happened to the best of us. Some people leave the earth and shit and they have no issues whatsoever. They just bang, they gone. Just like them guys that was in that automobile accident a couple of days ago. Their preparation for death was less than five seconds, guaranteed. But in our father's case, he's been dealing with this issue him for the past five years. So some people get an, an, an enormous amount of time to prepare for their demise, and some people don't get any time at all. Hey, 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 what can you say? Some people just fall dead of a heart attack like, like that. Of course. And even we, none of us know our faith, what our end results is going to be, but hey. It is what it is. And in our father case, I mean, eventually he would depart earth, but don't look like he's in no hurry. <laughs> Damn, I sure hate I I sure hate I can't do nothing about this, uh I apologize for that, but what can I say? I'm gonna post this video anyway. This is my first video of the week. Now it's quite possibly I do another one probably about between now and the end of the end of the day. Sunday. Well, Sunday starts a new week, so yeah, it's got to be the end of the day Saturday. I'll probably do another one the end of the day Saturday. I'll probably think of some shit to talk about. Some shit nobody really cares about. But, I keep y'all abreast on my sobriety. <laughs> I keep y'all abreast on my sobriety. I, I mean... <laughs> Will I ever drink some more alcohol? Hell, I don't know. I doubt it. I mean, I, I mean, it ain't like I'm craving for this shit. My body ain't shutting down. I'm not having any relapses or none of that horse shit. <laughs> actually, I actually sleep better. I mean, I don't know whether I should sleep better now that I'm not drinking anymore or not, but shit, I might be. I might actually be sleeping better now that I don't have alcohol in my system when I go to bed. And I'm going to tell you, this is the longest I've been without drinking me a shot of whiskey or a couple of beers. In the last 25 years, at least 25 years, could be closer to 30. So just imagine all that dang on money I don't have, I'm gonna save because I'm not drinking alcohol right now. <laughs> Ain't that some crap? <laughs> hey, if you if you poor like me and ain't got much money. You got to cut some things out of your life and shit. First thing you want to cut out of your life is shit that ain't doing <laughs> stuff that you can do without, like alcohol and tobacco and shit like that, right? I imagine a lot of that fast food. Fast food, I haven't had that. I, I will eat some um, barbecue, but I haven't been to McDonald's, Burger King. Well, I did went the hardest when I first got here because I, 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 I was hungry as hell and I, I need to get something to eat. Uh, otherwise, I haven't been to any place like the chicken house and shit. And the, uh, you know, like McDonald's and all that horse shit. Uh, what's his name? Bojangles Chicken. Bojangles Chicken. And buying a lot of stuff from Walmart and shit, right? Stuff that just set in my refrigerator primarily. But anyway, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here! 
It's been 25 minutes now, so time for me to go. I'm about two two miles from my Upa house. Like I said, the transmission is shifting out relatively good. You can you can probably hear it. See, I ship now. I wasn't getting any of that when I first started in the last two days. Shit, boy. Maybe the filter clog up or something. Hell, I don't know. Anyway, tell everybody, y'all know, I know, I said hello. We'll see you down the road. Y'all be good now. You're here. Yeah.